For countless centuries, humanity viewed the universe through a simple lens. We believed that our home, Earth, held a special status at the heart of all creation. The sun, stars, and celestial bodies were presumed to orbit around us in perfect unity. This perspective stemmed from our inherent inclination to place ourselves in a central role. Yet, as our comprehension of the cosmos advanced, we embarked on a captivating journey that ultimately revealed our genuine position within the vast Milky Way galaxy. This cosmic exploration unfolds as an enthralling narrative of persistence, creative thinking, and scientific breakthroughs. To accurately pinpoint our place in the Milky Way, it becomes essential to initially grasp the true structure of our galaxy. In today's video, we will know where we are located in the Milky Way galaxy. So in today's video, we're going on a very long journey. You are watching Cosmic Discovery YouTube channel. Let's move on to the video. The night sky serves as our initial guide, revealing a subtle yet radiant band of stars, a celestial ribbon that signifies our galaxy. This band's configuration hints at our galactic home being a flattened disk rather than a spherical entity. If our galaxy were spherical, we would witness a much denser scattering of stars evenly dispersed across the entire sky. Furthermore, the band appears to divide the night sky, indicating our location within its plane, neither above nor below. Venturing beyond this plane to gain a comprehensive view of the Milky Way's shape remains impractical. Such an endeavor would demand traversing hundreds or possibly thousands of light years perpendicular to this plane. To put it in perspective, consider Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object. Despite nearly half a century of space exploration, it has covered a mere distance equivalent to 0.02 light years. This underscores the enormity of the journey required to fully comprehend the structure of the Milky Way. Nevertheless, the limitations of direct observation technology have not prevented us from unraveling the mysteries of our galaxy's shape and our position within it. In the 18th century, William Herschel, famous for his discovery of Uranus in 1781, emerged as a key figure in this cosmic exploration. Herschel was not just an astronomer. He was a cosmic cartographer who mapped the celestial expanse. Equipped with his handmade telescope, an unprecedented instrument that enabled deeper cosmic exploration than ever before, Herschel boldly ventured into uncharted territory. In the late 1700s, with his sister Caroline, he began an ambitious endeavor. Dividing the night sky into approximately 600 sectors, he carefully cataloged the position and brightness of each apparent star within these designated sectors. With unwavering patience and precision, he observed the night sky through his telescope and marked the relative positions of the stars on a grid. His detailed star calculations led him to a bold proposal that the galaxy was not a spherical entity, but a disc-shaped structure. Herschel's groundbreaking work laid the foundation for our evolving understanding of the structure of galaxies. Their careful observations also indicated that our solar system resided in proximity to the center of this cosmic structure. Yet, Herschel's map, while groundbreaking, harbored inaccuracies. Unbeknownst to him, the existence of interstellar dust, obstructing our view of stars in the central region of the galaxy, eluded his awareness. Consequently, Herschel's map portrayed the central area as less dense than its actual state. Despite this limitation, Herschel's map represented a significant leap forward in our comprehension of the galaxy. This groundbreaking map was the first to depict the Milky Way as a disk, offering valuable insights into the structure of our galaxy. Now let's shift our narrative from the 18th century to the 20th century as we introduce a pivotal character in our story. Our next stop is the Harvard College Observatory, where an inquisitive astronomer deeply captivated by the wonders of the universe, is about to make an extraordinary observation. This astronomer's discovery is poised to revolutionize the field of astronomy, altering its trajectory forever. Henrietta Swan Leavitt beautifully expressed the notion that in the cosmic theater of discovery, 
every star has a role to play. This sentiment extends beyond celestial bodies to encompass the dedicated minds that have tirelessly worked to unveil the mysteries of the universe. Henrietta Swan Leavitt, an esteemed American astronomer, is among the luminaries who greatly enriched our comprehension of the cosmos, shedding light on our position within the Milky Way. Leavitt's research was centered around a distinctive category of stars called Cepheid Variables. These stars possess a remarkable trait. They rhythmically expand and contract, causing fluctuations in their brightness. Leavitt's responsibilities at the Harvard College Observatory involved the meticulous cataloging of these stars, a task that ultimately led her to a groundbreaking discovery. She documented a total of 1,777 variable stars. In 1908, her keen observations revealed a direct correlation between the luminosity of these stars and their pulsation periods. Brighter Cephides exhibited a slower pulsation compared to their fainter counterparts. This seemingly straightforward yet profoundly important relationship, now recognized as Leavitt's Law, provided astronomers with a powerful tool, the ability to ascertain the distance to Cephides by simply measuring their pulsation periods. Cephides, subsequently established as the standard candles, became a pivotal method for determining astronomical distances. So, she provided astronomers with an exciting technique capable of measuring distances up to 20 million light years. Now you might be curious about how this method helps us grasp our position in the Milky Way. To answer that, let's bring in another important figure, Edwin Hubble. Prior to the 1920s, many scientists held the belief that our Milky Way galaxy was the sole one in the entire universe. Even though we had captured images of what we now recognize as neighboring galaxies, such as Andromeda, they were mistakenly thought to be star systems within our Milky Way. As a result, most astronomers believed that the Milky Way constituted the entire universe. Nevertheless, with the advancement of telescopes, some began to question this theory. They observed an increasing number of indistinct patches in the sky that didn't conform to typical star formation regions within our galaxy. A significant challenge at that time was the absence of a precise method to measure the distances to stars. Stars vary greatly in size and brightness, making it difficult to accurately gauge their distances. One approach involved estimating their distance based on apparent brightness, but a large, luminous star positioned far away could appear as close as a smaller, dimmer star. This is where the groundbreaking work of Henrietta Swan Leavitt comes into play. Leavitt demonstrated that Chephide variables could be used to determine distances to galaxies up to 20 million light years away. Inspired by her findings, Edwin Hubble decided to measure the distance to the Andromeda galaxy by studying a Sepide variable star within it. His discoveries left the scientific community astonished. He made a groundbreaking discovery, determining that Andromeda was roughly 930,000 light years away, well beyond the boundaries of the Milky Way. While this distance is approximately a third of the presently accepted value, Hubble's estimate was sufficient to establish Andromeda's position outside our galaxy, fundamentally reshaping our comprehension of the universe. The revelation that Andromeda is a flattened disk of stars akin to the Milky Way sparked a crucial question among astronomers. Where exactly are we situated within our own galaxy? This is where the work of the American astronomer Harlow Shapley comes into play. Initially, Shapley adhered to the belief that everything visible to us was part of the Milky Way, a notion that Edwin Hubble's research disproved. In the early 1920s, acknowledging his mistake, Shapley revised his perspective and enthusiastically undertook the task of cataloging galaxies. Within a span of just six years, he meticulously documented as many as 1,249 galaxies demonstrating his commitment to rectifying and expanding our understanding of the vast cosmic landscape. Yet, it was Shapley's contributions from 1914 to 1918 that proved pivotal in our endeavor to pinpoint our location within the Milky Way. Equipped with the cutting-edge Mount Wilson Observatory's 60-inch telescope, the most advanced instrument of his time, 
Shapley directed his research toward globular clusters. These clusters represent densely packed groups of hundreds of thousands or even millions of stars that are gravitationally bound together, giving rise to a spherical shape. They are situated either above or below the plane of the galaxy. Globular clusters, some of the universe's oldest objects, with many dating back over 10 billion years, captured Shapley's attention. His research unveiled that these globular clusters formed a spherical pattern around the galactic core, particularly in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. This observation held great significance. Had we been positioned near the Milky Way's core, globular clusters would have been scattered across the entire sky. However, the majority of them are only visible near the galactic center, specifically in the direction of the Sagittarius and Scorpius constellations. This suggests that we're not situated close to the center of the galaxy, as William Herschel theorized. Instead, we find ourselves more towards the outer arm. Yet, his calculations slightly overestimated our real distance from the galactic center. His estimate placed us at a distance ranging from 33,000 to 90,000 light years away. Thanks to progress in modern astronomy, we've now fine-tuned this measurement. Our solar system is situated close to a smaller partial arm known as the Orion Arm or Orion Spur. This arm is positioned between the Sagittarius and Perseus arms, approximately 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, Gaia. The Milky Way is our home, an elegant spiral of starlight spinning in the cosmic abyss. However, Comprehending its magnificent blueprint, expansive makeup, and our role within it has often seemed overwhelming. But fear not. Meet Gaia, the European Space Agency's celestial mapmaker. It quietly navigates the cosmic expanse, unveiling new insights into the grand design of the Milky Way and our place in this celestial tapestry. Setting sail in late 2013, Gaia embarked on an audacious quest to create the most thorough and intricate 3D map of our galaxy to date. With a mission to survey around 1 billion stars, accounting for roughly 1% of the stars in our galaxy, Gaia has diligently mapped the cosmos. This endeavor empowers astronomers to explore the Milky Way holistically, unraveling its structure, dynamics, and evolutionary journey. By unveiling the galaxy's overall structure, Gaia sheds light on various aspects, including the distribution of stars, the arrangement of spiral arms, and the characteristics of the galactic bulge and halo. This perspective not only refines our comprehension of our position within the Milky Way, but also enriches our understanding of how our galaxy fits into the broader context of the local universe. The Gaia mission signifies a remarkable advancement in the field of astrometry, delving into the study of the positions and motions of celestial bodies. While it may not enjoy the same level of fame as the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope, Gaia silently revolutionizes our understanding of the Milky Way. The precise and comprehensive data it gathers serves as a valuable resource, poised to fuel astronomical discoveries for decades to come, propelling our cosmic journey deeper into the mysteries of the universe. This ends today's video. Subscribe to Cosmic Discovery Channel to watch such videos daily.